great afternoon. Well, this afternoon I decided I was going to pull out cards, a bunch of decks, and ask what's the most important things in life? And here is what it said. Number one, to believe in yourself, the moon in Aries, have courage. Have courage for the transitions in life. Don't be afraid to go forward, to have truth. Okay, to look at what is the ultimate truth and then what is your uh, take on truth, your, um, what do I want to call it? Uh, there's the ultimate truth and then there is your ideology of truth. Okay. So I'll just leave it there. Everybody can have the same experience, exact experience, but the way they view it and their truth that comes from it will be different depending on their background and all of their experiences. So hold to truth. If you can, uh, hold more to the ultimate truth rather than your take in the moment of truth. Okay. Have love. Very important to have love in your life. Okay. So, so far we've got have courage, be ready to step forward, live your life in truth, have love for whatever it is that you birth whether it's an idea, whether it's a child, whatever it is that you are birthing and you hold as dear, then you have to nourish it, take care of it, bring it up with courage, truth, love. And what's the last thing that came? And I love this card. You know what she has there is precious. And you can tell she's 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 not a young young chick, okay? <laughs> We have we have the breasts are sagging a bit, okay? So she's not a young teenager, okay? She's someone that's lived life, and she's with the light here. She's gained knowledge, and she's going to give it to whatever it is that is precious to her, whether she is birthing an idea, or whether it is a child, whatever it is that is so important to her, she's going to give it truth love and show it to have courage how to believe in yourself how to believe in it but the last thing that i got was temperance okay so you can have these things love courage truth but you need to sometimes have a little humility have a little temperance when you're dealing with others okay you have your truth but they have their truth as well so you need to be able to come together, okay? So in, so to come together, we need a little temperance, okay? A little temperance along the way. So this is a short and sweet, but um, I think it really does hold true that the things you surround yourself with are love, truth, See if I can get this. Have love, truth, believe in yourself, have courage, and yet have a little bit of temperance when it's needed, okay? Um, rather than being a little bullheaded, and there's only one way. There's not always only one way. There are many paths to reach the ultimate We'll just use that as an example, to reach God, to reach that ultimate divine is. There are many paths along the way. There's a Buddhist path, there's a Hindu path, there's a Christian path. It doesn't matter. Each path will ultimately lead to that same principle, the same dynamic, that same energetic uh, cause of creation. Okay? All the paths can lead there. And what I say with that is the only difference in them is the scenery along the way. Okay. So um, 
Yeah, but they're all wanting to go to where you can see the energy that divine is. I call it the divine is. Um, that is the, the, uh, the with all and be all of creation. It's the life of all life and the death of all death. Okay. So, uh, again, it doesn't matter which path you take, whether it's Native American, whether it's shamanism, whether it's Christian, whether it's Hindu, whether it's Sikh, it doesn't matter whether it's Muslim, whether it's Sufism, <clears throat> they all <clears throat> point to the single source. So if people could get beyond their prejudices and mind way is the only way, okay, you can enjoy your truth, hold your truth, but enjoy the other ones along the way as well, okay? So that's what I got today. Um, what are the most important things to hold to? And I don't think I can argue with what, what the cards came out with. I can't argue with that at all. Oh, absolute truth versus relative truths. Okay. <laughs> there's an absolute truth, and then there's the relative truth, relational to you and your experiences, uh, what your take on truth is. Okay. But you can't beat the ultimate truth. Okay. And as you go, you'll find out that your relative truths may change along the way. They're going to change along the way. The further that one goes on the path, the more wisdom that one gains. Okay? Your relational truths are going to change along the way as well. Okay? So again, whatever you're birthing, whether it's an idea, you know, a concept, a child. It doesn't matter what you're birthing, what you're holding to as sacred, what you're, you know, live it with truth, believe in yourself, have courage, have love, and don't forget to temper it when one gets to a uh, impasse situation with others, okay? So I'm going to leave this here. Thanks for tuning in. I hope somebody's gotten something from this. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, please give a thumbs up. Click subscribe. And love and light to everyone out there. I hope everyone has had a wonderful Friday the 13th. And uh, let's go forward. Love and light. Namaste. Aho. Let's continue to go forward.